This is now the part 2 of our discussion of Rule 68. Again, ha, let's recall that for your Rule 68, what you need to file is a complaint. Again, what you need to file is a complaint. Legal forms muna tayo. I attached here an example of a complaint for foreclosure of real estate mortgage. But take note that your section 1 is very clear that in your complaint for foreclosure of real estate mortgage, it should indicate the following. First, the date and due execution of the mortgage, the assignments of the mortgage if there is any, the names and residences of the mortgager and the mortgagee, the description of the mortgage property, the statement of the date of the note or other documentary evidence of the obligation secured by the mortgage and the amount claimed to be unpaid. So aside from what we have already mentioned, take note that your complaint should also state the names and residences of all persons having an interest in the property. It should indicate the names and residences of all persons claiming an interest in the property. And these are your defendants. So take note, ha? your defendants is all persons all persons who who are obliged to pay the mortgage debt who own the property who or who own the mortgage premises who occupy the mortgage premises or who control the mortgage premises also your defendant should also include the transferee or grantee of the property that is why kanina sinabi natin the dapat si complaint should set forth the assignments of the mortgage if there is any. Kasi kung merong assignment na, therefore, your defendant should include the transferee or grantee. Who else? You should also include the second mortgagee or your junior encumbrancers. Bakit merong junior second mortgagee or junior encumbrancers? Recall your civil law. Ano ang sinasabi ng civil law? Kahit isa lang ang property, it can be the subject of several mortgages. There can be several mortgages over the same property because there is no law nor there is a rule prohibiting the existence of more than one encumbrance over a property. Therefore, for example, ikaw si Manny Pacquiao gusto mong tumakbo bilang presidente ng Pilipinas and your funds is not enough, mangungutang ka. Gagawin mong security your property in the Forbes Park. Mangungutang ka kay BPI. Hindi pa rin enough ang pera, mangungutang ka ngayon kay BDO. And when you obtain that loan from BDO, you can use again that same property in Forbes Park as your security. Hindi pa rin enough ang pera, pwede kang mangutang sa individual, mangungutang ka kay Henry C. Jr. And then you can use again that Forbes Park as your security. There can be several mortgages over the same property. Take note, however, ha, dun sa example natin kay Manny Pacquiao, na kung naunang magmature yung um, real estate mortgage na inexecute kay um, kay Henry C. Jr., then walang nagpo-prohibit kay Henry C. Jr. na magfile ng foreclosure of real estate mortgage kahit siya ay yung pinakahuli na, nauna yung kay BPI, nauna yung kay BDO. Henry C. Jr. can file an action for foreclosure of mortgage and then he would include BPI and BDO as the defendants kahit sila ay mga senior mortgagee. Who else is your defendant? The mortgager even if that mortgager is not the owner of the mortgaged property. Kasi meron ding mga instances, meron kang mabait na kaibigan, gusto mong mangutang pero wala kang pang security, yung kaibigan mo pumayag na gawing security ang kanyang lupa. So, in that case, 
that mortgagor should also be included as the defendant even if he is not the owner of the mortgage property. Next, what is the venue if you're going to file your action for foreclosure of real estate mortgage? Answer is, since it is a real action, bakit naging real action? Because it involves an interest in a real property. Therefore, very clear si Rule 4, Section 1 that the venue is where the property is located or any portion thereof is situated. How about the jurisdiction? Sino ang may jurisdiction in your action for foreclosure of real estate mortgage? Answer is MTC or RTC depending on the assessed value. Take note ha, assessed value ang magiging batayan. So if you if the property is located in Metro Manila and the assessed value does not exceed 50,000 pesos, then MTC. If the property is in Metro Manila but the assessed value exceeds 50,000 pesos, then RTC. Pag ang property wala naman sa Metro Manila, nasa probinsya, then the assessed the value that you have to take note is 20,000 pesos. If does not exceed 20,000 pesos, then you go to MTC and then you go to RTC if it exceeds 20,000 pesos. After the filing of a complaint, what is the next step? There will be a trial. But take note that if you're going to read your Rule 68, hindi nakalagay doon ang mechanics kung paano ikakandakt ang trial. But recall your Rule 1, Section 3. Ano ulit ang sinasabi ng Rule 1, Section 3? There are two kinds of civil action, that is your ordinary civil action and special civil action. Both are governed by the rules for ordinary civil actions subject to the specific rules prescribed for a special civil action. Since absent si Rule 68 ng mechanics ng paano magta-trial sa foreclosure of real estate mortgage, therefore, your foreclosure suit will proceed like an ordinary action insofar as they are not inconsistent with Rule 68. Take note also that you're under Section 2, if upon the trial in such action, the court shall find the facts set forth in the complaint to be true, what is the court going to do? The court will ascertain the amount, the interest, the charges, and the cost. Pagkatapos niyang ma-determine yan, the court will render a judgment. The court shall render a judgment for the sum found due and it will order the defendant to pay to the court or to the judgment employee obligee within a period of not less than 90 days nor more than 120 days from the entry of judgment. So, 3 months to 4 months. And that is called your equity of redemption. Ang tawag ng period na dyan is your equity of redemption. Ano ulit ang sinabi natin? Itong period na to dapat naka-indicate sa judgment because this is a substantial requirement. Dapat naka-indicate din sa judgment or sa decision that in default of such payment, the property shall be sold at public auction to satisfy the judgment. Dapat very clear yan ha na nakasulat sa decision. And if you are not happy with the judgment issued by the court, what is your remedy party? You can file an appeal or other post-judgment remedies. If you're not happy with the judgment, then what can you do, party? You can file an appeal or other post-judgment remedies. But if you do not want to file an appeal, ikaw mortgager, you have the right to exercise your equity of redemption. Again, your equity of redemption is the period of 90 to 120 days, 90 to 120 days from when? From the entry of judgment. Your equity of redemption, that is your right mortgager or defendant mortgager to extinguish the mortgage and retain ownership of the property by paying the secured debt 
within the period of 90 to 120 days. Sabi ng Supreme Court, that is your last opportunity mortgager to pay the debt and save the mortgage property from final disposition at the foreclosure sale. But if we will go to the next slides, malalaman nyo that this is not the last opportunity kasi meron pa namang opportunity si mortgager to pay the debt. But we will go to that later. What will happen here? Si plaintiff, iintayin lang niyang matapos ang period the 120 day period at pag natapos yun and still itong si mortgager defendant was not able to pay then the plaintiff or that property can now be sold at public auction to satisfy the judgment there will be now a foreclosure sale but section 3 is very clear that when the defendant fails to pay the amount of the judgment, the court upon motion shall order the property to be sold. That is why you, mortgagee, you have to file first a motion, a motion for the sale of the mortgage property or sometimes ang tawag nila dito is motion for execution. What are the things that we need to know about this motion? You can file this ex parte walang notice kay mortgager such motion of sale is non litigable and may be made ex parte you do not need to give or to notify the mortgager because mortgager does not have does not have a right to notice of sale after his failure to pay the debt because of two reasons number 1 ministerial lang yan on the part of the court to order the foreclosure sale of the property and second the notice is not litigable next pag hindi nakabayad within that period of 90 to 120 days what else is your option plaintiff mortgagee you can file a motion for the issuance of a writ of possession that is very clear according to your section 3 upon the expiration of the period of redemption when allowed by law the purchaser at the auction sale or the last redemptioner shall be entitled to the possession of the property 2013 bar exam question mcq when the court renders judgment in a ju judicial foreclosure proceeding when is the mortgage property sold at public auction to satisfy the judgment choices are letter a after the decision has become final and executory letter b at any time after the failure of the defendant to pay the judgment amount letter c after the failure of the defendant to pay the judgment amount within the period fixed in the decision which shall not be less than 90 nor more than 120 days from entry of judgment, choice letter D is when the mortgage property is never sold at public auction and letter E is the mortgage property may be sold but not in any of the situations outlined above. The answer here is letter D letter C rather that is very clear according to your section 2 kung hindi nakabayad within that period of 90 to 120 days therefore the property shall be sold at public auction to satisfy the judgment another bar exam question 2012 MCQ equity of redemption is the right of the mortgager to redeem the mortgage property after default in the performance of the conditions of the mortgage before the sale or the confirmation of sale. In A, choice letter A is extrajudicial foreclosure of mortgage, letter B, judicial foreclosure of mortgage, letter C, execution sale, and letter D is foreclosure by a bank. The answer here is your equity of redemption is only available in judicial foreclosure of mortgage. Ano ulit ang sabi natin sa equity of redemption? That is the right of the defendant mortgager to extinguish the mortgage and retain ownership over the property by paying the secure debt within that period of 90 to 120 days. But 
that is not your last opportunity because even after the foreclosure sale but before the court renders its confirmation or before the court issues an order confirming the foreclosure sale, you can still pay the secured debt. Let's go back to equity of redemption. For the mortgager to exercise his equity of redemption, the period must be within a period of not less than 90 days nor more than 120 days. 90 days to 120 days reckoned from when? Reckoned from the entry of judgment. But what is the meaning of entry of judgment? Entry of judgment refers to the physical act performed by the clerk of court in entering the dispositive portion of the judgment in the book of entries of judgment. And if you're going to read your Rule 36, Section 2, the date of the finality of the judgment or final order shall be deemed to be the date of its entry. So kung merong naging judgment at yung judgment hindi naman inapil ng mga parties, hindi nag-file ng motion for new trial or motion for reconsideration, and let us just say that that judgment became final and executory on May 5, but itong si clerk of court masyadong busy, Kailan lang niya na isulat sa book of entries na isulat lang niya noong June 7. Therefore, what is the entry? What is the date of the entry of judgment? The date of the entry of judgment is May 5, the date when it became final and executory. Hindi yung June 7 kung saan sinulat ni clerk of court. Take note of that ha kasi importante yan, maraming nagkakamali dyan.